Um, acceleration graphs sometimes scare people, and I don't think that they should because they're normally pretty easy um, once you actually look at them. An acceleration graph, since acceleration is just going to be the change in velocity over the change in time, you're going to basically look at any graph that shows velocity on your y-axis versus time on your x-axis. The slope is going to give you acceleration. So here's what that means. It means if I have a graph where I've got time on the x and I've got velocity on the y, I'm going to draw a little graph real quick. Here's what happens. On that first section, part A, part B, part C, on that first section, part A, I'm speeding up. I'm just increasing my velocity. That's all that means. Part B, it's flat, or it's supposed to be flat, but I didn't draw it very well. So in part B, my velocity starts and stops at the same level. So my velocity is constant at, say that's 5 meters per second. So if my velocity is constant, that means that I have a constant velocity and my acceleration is zero because I'm not speeding up or slowing down, right? And then in part C, it looks like I'm actually going to decreasing velocity. Now, what does that mean? If you, it means that I had a positive velocity and I'm going back to a velocity of zero. So I'm stopping there. So I'm speeding up, I'm going to constant speed, and then I'm braking. That's all that that means in that, that graph. So let's look at interpreting another graph. And we're actually going to start with a distance versus time graph. And that actually would show the speed of an object because remember if I have distance on the y-axis over time on the x-axis that's speed right and then I'm gonna look at a velocity versus time graph and I'm gonna graph the same object doing the same thing so hang on so if you look here my object is going to go ahead and I'm gonna have a steep slope so that means that I was going really fast right and then there I'm not increasing my distance at all. My distance is constant. That means my velocity equals zero. When my velocity equals zero, that means I'm stopped. It just means I'm standing in place or I'm parked. And that green line, I'm going slower, and I'm also going back to the starting line. So I'm slower, and I'm going in the negative direction. Um, now, if you look here, this is going to line up. On the blue line, if that's the steepest and that's a positive, I'm increasing my speed, right? I'm, 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 I'm going at a constant velocity. I didn't mean that I'm increasing my speed. I'm not. I'm going at a constant velocity, and it's positive. So I'm going to go and draw a straight, flat line, constant velocity. My velocity is the same number, so that's flat, and it's positive. And that's pretty complicated, but let's pretend that my velocity here is 3 meters per second, right? So this would be, this blue line at the bottom would just be 3 meters per second. Then, here, the purple line, my velocity equals 0. So what I need to do is I need to drop the line back down, and I need to draw the purple line right on the 0. So let's do that. So it's kind of hard to see, but the purple line's right on the black um, axes at 0. And then the green line... I'm going slower and in the negative direction. So I'm going negative, so I'm going to have a line that is not as big of a velocity. So it's going to be smaller, but it's going to be negative. So it's going to be below the line. So like that. And um, we're going to practice these quite a bit. So you can refer back to this, and there's a link with some more practice problems on the website too.